Hi, welcome back to Kelly's Corner, and I'm feeling like really, yeah. I feel like I look a wee bit like Saffron Gorman today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of loving for it. That bitch saved my life and her son's life, and the Lizzie's O'Toole's. We all almost fell off a cliff in the snow while on the way to like be models and everything, and her and her wee car. At uh, like save their lives. <laughs> that was fun. But I haven't any lives anyway, they're fucked. So I have been a wee bit um like incognito for a while, I guess. Well, a, a lot, let's be fair. I did have planned to do a video on the fashion show for um, Belfast Eternal Fashion Week that happened in February, but um <laughs> it didn't happen. And I did have plans to interview um, Shelly Rogers and Rachel Mayhook of um, Jean Jacket Designs but mm, yeah. it'll happen I, I think I'm a walking disaster I think we've established that by now so recently as well it has been five years since I started getting into drag officially I was that wee kind of boy you know someday he's just gonna He's, he's just, he's, he's gonna be this, there's no other way to describe it. And people are shocked that I have done this. N no, no, this is, hmm. I vividly remember whenever I was a child, going about in a very, very bad blonde wig with a broom on my granny street, thinking I was Sarah Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. Good times. Hmm. So whilst I started drag officially five years ago, right after I got with hmm, hmm, I did double, I guess. Like the Sarah Sanderson thing was one issue, but um, there was another. Many, many, many moons ago, I knew that I wanted to do something in regards to videos and editing and everything. Maybe not as a job, but as a pastime or whatever. And myself, my brother, and my cousins wanted to make a movie. That sounds really bad. It wasn't porn. Let's just make that clear. It wasn't that kind of family. Like, we're country bumpkins but we don't you know so um we wanted to make like a superhero movie I guess um and somehow with that with alternate realities ugly Betty came into it don't ask it was 2008 I don't know how this all came to pass but I was the only one in the family at the time that had braces and strange enough to dress up and I'm not proud of it I've had it over the years but it's where the bug kinda bit me in the ass Kitty was kinda born from ugly bed it's an ugly duckling story oh my god <gasps> now I'm a beautiful swan so Ugly Betty happened and she was, um, it, it, it was a look and <laughs> here she is. <laughs> I, I know, I know, say not, but I knew that I could have done better. Like I didn't know anything but drag at the time, so I didn't really think of anything but I knew I could do something better and transform in a way like Mrs. Doubtfire or White Chicks or something was a thing. So I wanted to do something in that regards I guess and 
a bit it didn't evolve. Flash forward, and some of you know the story, and I, I started getting interested in drag, meeting the drag queens whenever I was in university. And then from that, I discovered RuPaul's Drag Race, and like every other wee gay boy. But my inspiration really did come from my friends. And I remember practicing makeup very badly. It was, it was like all finger painting at that stage. Don't know what happened. Uh, it was whenever I moved to Derry and I told Hugh that I wanted to start this year and I told my friend Stephen, who happens to be on your backs, how did I get into it? Because, yeah. So Anya helped me, sent a shitload of stuff to me and Kitty was born. Aren't you glad? Oh God. So at the same time that I was starting dragging Derry, my friend Keith was starting as Nancy Screw, which I still can't understand, Keith, what the whole pun in the name is of that. You told me before, I still don't. I still don't. Nancy Screw. Nancy Screw. Nancy Screw. It'll come to me in about 10 years' time. I'm not the fucking brightest. And I remember the gay baron Derry was starting this here whole competition for drag queens to come in and host a night and everything. And mine was around my birthday and it, it, it wasn't great. It, it really wasn't. I was a shy, wee, timid thing from the, the sticks basically. And I had zero confidence, zero charisma or anything at the time. I couldn't speak to anybody. I was handed this mic. Expected the host tonight, and I signed up for it, so I should have known what I was getting myself into, but I really didn't. And the night was a bit of a flop, I'm not gonna lie. And I moved home, and the drug kind of fucking died, and phew, went up in flames. Not by my hand, just saying. And then when we got to Belfast, I was like, do you know what? I'm actually gonna get into the drag again and try and push myself. So later on that year, I signed up for Opportunity Frogs which was so, 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 so scary because I still had that real fear in me and didn't know how I was going to react or anything. But I pushed myself, the shit happened. But I actually did so well and I'm so proud of myself because as we inside have said that I came forth and I kept going and went to the next year and that was, that was a, that was a bust. That was a real bust. Oh God. That Harry Quinn will haunt me for the rest of my life. And I started doing Nights in Maverick with Portia. Love you, babe. And I kept pushing myself. And I'm not as far as I'd like to be. But all things considered with my mental health and everything, I wanted to get myself before I push myself into things that I know that I might just crumble in. So I'm looking after number one before I do number two. And that sounds bad. But over the years I have met some amazing people uh, from doing drag. I've met some amazing friends. Like my best friend, Barry. <laughs> Barbs. And I've met another country bumpkin who I love and adore the pieces. Miss Alexis Cox. Well, Mrs. Alexis Cox. Now, I should remember, it is her husband. It is her husband, but still in fucking penicillin and just wants to invite her. It's just go stick. Thank you, Lady Gaga. But I've got to work with some drag legends here in Belfast, like Portia de Monte, Tina Legs Tantrum, Miss Trudy Scrumptious, like, Gutty Glamour, like, I'm happy that I've done it, at least. And I've got to do it with some really good friends of mine, and... I'm doing this, which is... Yeah! And most recently I got to do a fashion show in Belfast Castle for Belfast Alternative Fashion Week. So glad I got that out, because you may not have noticed, but I cannot enunciate anything. I need to slow down how I talk. But I got to do that with, like, the other country bumpkin 
Miss Alexis Cox, which was amazing. And then her hobby was my hobby for the fashion show. If that makes sense. I walk with him. That's the story. And then the Sotul was there with me as well. And I felt so privileged that it was just us three drag queens and I got to model this amazing, amazing garden. It was like all hand painted and had the crystals and this here big fuck off umbrella with crystals on it. And I cannot say the name of the crystals. Swartsky, 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 Smirnoff crystals and I just so try to walk on but it was so heavy it was made from like a hundred pairs of jeans and it was all like it was oh but it was so it was so amazing I loved it I loved it it was so heavy and then we got photographed for Equal magazine by Shelly Rogers who um, love you baby and I really do want to do an interview with you just saying just saying like I met some amazing people at the show and I wish I kind of put myself out more and spoke more but I was so intimidated because some of these people were just so amazing like I met Skyler Jet off the Commodores which is mind blowing on so on I also met a um, makeup junkie G off YouTube fame who is just the cutest wee thing it's just oh just such a wee inspiration and love you to bits and then I met um, Ross Andrew Davidson who is just an inspiration all around like the drive that guy has and for everything he's been through it just hats off to you just such a great guy and then I met James Kennedy and um, he's just a, a wee Welsh maid with an amazing voice and it was just it was amazing and just cue the wee video of me and Eddie walking down while James is belting it out but it was oh. But yeah, just until next time, be good, be safe. Be happy, have fun, and have sex. <laughs> Bye!